Hello guys and welcome to my Ulta haul video. I have a ton of skincare and beauty items to share with you guys, so let's get started. What a wonderful So I do have a pretty big uh, Ulta order that I placed earlier this month and then I also have a PR box and I have some Mary Kay skincare as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with the Ulta stuff. So to be honest, it's been a long time since I've purchased skincare, probably like the summer of last year and that stuff lasted me up until now. But I also just went on an international trip and like stupid me, I put all my liquids in my carry-on and the TSA agents made me throw it away. So that was a lot of fun. So instead of throwing away my makeup, I threw away most of my skincare. It was mostly like minis and stuff that was pretty much almost empty anyways. So yeah, I did have to kind of restock up my skincare collection because either I was out of some things or I had to throw them away. So yeah, anyways, the first thing that I did was pick up a few things from Bioma. This is a newer brand to Ulta and I'm really loving it. I've tried their moisturizing gel cream before, so I did pick up one of these. I really, really like it. The only problem is I noticed I go through about one a month of this um, moisturizer. I think I just have to use a little bit more of it because it is kind of liquid. Um, or it's more liquid than most moisturizers that I used before, but I really like how it feels and it's nice and lightweight for my skin because I have like medium or um, combination skin. It's oily at times and it's dry at times. So right now it's like warmer outside. So my skin gets oilier and I sweat a little bit more, but if it's cold outside, my skin gets really cold and or not cold, dry and I get patches. So I just have to be aware of like what my skin needs at the time. So I picked up this one. It's a little bit less heavy of a moisturizer it is a gel cream so i do really like it and then i figured since i like that one from bioma i want to try something else from them and so i picked up the creamy jelly cleanser i do love to use a like jelly cleanser for the mornings just because i don't need something that is super like stripping but i do have one from mary Kay that i use at night for kind of acne prevention um, that really gets off my makeup. So this one will be more of my morning cleanser, although it does say you can use it morning and night. And it kind of gives you, I love that Bioma does this. It gives you an order of when to apply your products. So that's pretty cool. This one has Tri-Samurai Complex, Licorice Root, and Green Tea. I know green tea is definitely supposed to be good for your skin. So yeah, I will use this and let you guys know what I think, but it is a pretty big product. This is 5.9 ounces. It's pretty big and I think it was around 20 or under 20 bucks. So this is pretty affordable for such a large cleanser. So I'm pretty happy about that. The next skincare item that I got is the Ordinary's Caffeine Solution. This one is an under eye solution. It's really just like a, a serum, but I like it for the mornings because it has caffeine in it and it's supposed to reduce puffiness. And I have used this before. I really loved it when I had it last, which was probably early last year is when I last had this, but it's really nice. I leave this one in the fridge actually, and it feels so like refreshing to put on a couple drops in the morning under my eyes. It just feels really nice and like awakening. So I'm really excited to have this back in my collection. And I think that's actually the last skincare item. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into some makeup that I picked up. The first one being the e.l.f. Squeeze Me Lip Balm. These are new. I picked up, I think the peach, oh, the strawberry scent. And I have to say it's so tiny. It's 0.2 ounces. It is probably the smallest little squeezy lip balm I've ever had. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because I want to say it was like five bucks or cheaper, three or five dollars. So it was not expensive at all. And it's perfect to put in like a really small bag. But it smells really good. It kind of smells like strawberry jello to me. Um, it's not crazy moisturizing, but it does kind of feel like the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I have to say it's got that kind of like jelly texture to it. So yeah, happy to try something new out from e.l.f. And then I really wanted to pick up a matte bronzer. So I own a like glittery shimmery bronzer that I love for summertime, but I just find it's like too dark and too shimmery for winter. And I'm not very tan right now, so I need something a little lighter. So I wanted to pick up the Physicians Formula Muru Muru Butter Bronzer. And it actually does smell really good. I'm like surprised by that. But I've been dying to pick up a new bronzer lately just because I've been feeling like it's missing from my routine. I do put on like a bronzing stick, but I felt like I just wanted a powder. It smells really good. 
I'm excited to try it out. It kind of smells like, um, like a coconut sunscreen. It smells so good. So I'm really excited to have this for going into the warmer months and really using a little bit more bronzer. So really excited about that. And of course, I think this has been around for a while, but it has great reviews. And then to use with my bronzer, I did pick up a new brush. I picked up the Ulta Beauty Bronzer 21 brush and it comes in just packaging like this. I have not tried any of Ulta's makeup brushes before, so I was curious to try this and it wasn't expensive. I wanna say maybe like 12, 10 or $12, so a good price and it, it had pretty good reviews, so it feels very nice. Okay, it's like tapered. It's like a tapered synthetic brush. It feels very nice and like fluffy and it has this little handle on it, which I think is pretty nice. It feels really soft. So I'm excited to try that out and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Maybe I'll do an updated makeup routine for you guys. And then this is actually a repurchase. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. This is just the Banana Press Powder from NYX. I love this for setting my under eyes. I've had one for like years and years. It like broke into pieces and I can hardly use it now. So I purchased a new one, just kind of get a new one in there. And I'm really excited to have this fresh powder to go with. And the last makeup item is the ColourPop Brow Gel and I got it in dark brown. I have tried this before. I do like it. Honestly, I'm not like a big brow gel fan. I have to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but maybe I will like this one now that I got the dark brown. I think I've tried it before in light brown, so I'm interested to see how it is. I've been using clear brow gel for a while, so I felt like picking up a colored one just to kind of change up the routine a bit, so there's that one. Okay, and that's it for my Ulta haul. Now let's get into my PR package. So I did get in a package from the Inky List. This is one of their new products. So they did, I think reached out to me originally on Instagram and I've been getting a couple PR packages from them every other month or so. Um, but I feel like they're very good about being sustainable about it because they usually will email me and say, you know, if you don't want this product, that's okay. But if you do fill out this form. And so I was able to get their new bioactive ceramide repairing moisturizer. So this one is supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, but it also says it's extra hydrating because it does have ceramides in it. So I thought this would be really good for when my skin is really dry like that and it needs some moisture to it. Um, so let's open it up. I think it is gonna be a very, very thick cream. Oh yeah, that's super thick. So excited to have this for when my skin is dry and it really needs some loving, but I was really happy to get to test this out and I know that it's really new, so. Yeah, just excited to be able to receive PR. And the last thing I have is a Mary Kay haul. So my mom does work for Mary Kay and she always hooks me up with skincare. Honestly, I use a lot of their skincare on an everyday basis. I find it's just really good high quality ingredients. So I will list her website down below and if you don't have anyone near you, you can use her, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on my favorites. So this is their clear proof line and it's meant for acne prone skin. And I use this clarifying cleansing gel with 2% salic salicylic acid almost every night, I would say. It really helps with getting any gunk and sweat or SPF sunscreen or makeup off my face after a long day. So I really love this stuff. I leave it in my shower pretty much and just use it. And Ryan also enjoys it too. He does have a little more acne prone skin than I do. And then I also have their blemish control toner. This one I really only use to spot treat though. Only if I have an active pimple or a pimple that I just popped. I know it's bad, but sometimes I can't resist. This is actually really good to cleanse the area and to make sure no new bacteria is coming in. So usually I'll put like some of this on a Q-tip, dot it on the little pimple and then put a pimple patch over it and it's gonna be gone pretty quickly. So I love those two. And she also hooked me up with some minis of the same thing. These are just the small versions that are great for travel. And then these are probably my two new favorite skincare items over the last year. And it's the Clinical Solutions lines. So these are just serums that you add into your routine. So it'll be um, after you wash your face, but before moisturizer. The first one that I love, I think this made such a big difference in my skin last year. It's the C Plus Res Resveratrol Line Reducer and it's a vitamin C serum. And yes, it does help with fine lines and wrinkles, but for me, it actually helped a lot with any discoloration on my skin. 
that's really what vitamin C is supposed to do. It's supposed to even out the skin. So yeah, I use this one pretty much every single morning and I go through it really quickly, but I love this stuff so much. And then we have the Clinical Solutions PHA AHA Resurfacer. And this is more of a chemical exfoliant. So you have to be very careful if you're gonna use something like this. I only use it about once a week. And this one is like a nighttime only um, exfoliant. So it says on the bottle you can use it two to three times a week, but I also use retinol. So I'm just really, really careful when I use this to not also be using retinol at the same time. But the PHA AHA Resurfacer is supposed to really get rid of any dead skin, anything left over on the skin, and help you kind of exfoliate without harsh uh, abrasions, which is like scrubs, you know? So I love this stuff. I use it, like I said, about once a week. And then something new that I'm really excited to try is their Mineral Face Sunscreen, and this is SPF 30. And I was a little like hesitant to try it because mineral sunscreens don't usually blend in very easily, but I did try this on the back of my hand and it actually blended in pretty simple. So I just squeezed a little bit on, let's see. And it feels like it's pretty liquidy too. So yeah, it blended out really quickly. I think this will be awesome. Also, it doesn't really have a smell, which is also good. So I think this will be awesome going into the spring and summer when I'm actually doing more like walks outside with Kai and going for hot girl walks and stuff, keeping this kind of nearby to reapply sunscreen before I go. So I'm really excited to have this and I hope um, it works really well and doesn't break me out, which I haven't really ever had an SPF break me out before, but that is a problem for Ryan. So I'm excited to get him to try this one too and see what he thinks because he does run a lot outside and he needs to be wearing sunscreen. He tells me he does, but then he comes back with a really bad suntan, so we'll see. All right, so that was my pretty large skincare and makeup haul, just really restocking on things. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below if you're trying anything new for makeup or skincare wise. Let me know what it is down below. I'd love to just have a little chat about skincare and beauty with you guys, but thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.